have this for the Super Mario 64 stuff, which is, there we go, slightly cropped a little bit. But yeah, uh, Yosri's Revenge. We were making some decent progress and then got stuck last time. Or not stuck, but we stopped at Grandma's house. So are we ready to find out what's in Grandma's house? It's a ghost house, so uh, regretfully it looks like Grandma's probably dead. That's... <laughs> Not the greatest outcome that I would want to see from Grandma. Uh, I hope your Grandma's still alive. I'm about to say, Snow Golem, thank you for the cheer. It was so good that I got distracted and then died. Thank you. I think this is the, fir the first um, video for, for, the, for this that, I, that I've seen. I think all the times you've streamed this, I've been to work. <laughs> this, it, it could definitely happen. Uh, but... Uh, I would about to say, uh, this ROM hack has been pretty enjoyable so far, but I probably need to put the Mario World ROM hacks on a bit more of a consistent schedule than uh, the thing I like to play when schedules don't work out. So that's kind of how I've been playing them as of late. Jeez. Well, maybe, maybe when you... Because you're getting close to fi finishing Ocarina of Time. I think all you have left is the, um, the Spirit Temple and, and then um, and then ba Bowser and then that that's it. Pretty much, yeah, so... So, my original point was, when you get finished with, with uh, that, you can continue this. Indeed. So, uh, but this ghost house has definitely been tricking me up. All the, uh, I'm about to say they're Mecha Koopas. Uh, their, their patterns are simple, but they've been messing me up just how they've been walking around. So, can I hit this with the block? I forgot. Now, let me actually use the save state button, because I have it. Aha! I can hit it like that. I hope I didn't need that block now. <laughs> that was way more convenient than trying to jump after that thing, I tell you. Also, death door. Death door. Death door. Okay, game. You get to the very end of the level and you need the goal line. Uh, no, I actually need the block. I'm about to say the block that I used to hit the switch, you actually need it over here. Just as I threw the block away, because, I mean, what kind of rum heck would make you do that? Of course. <laughs> so, oh boy, here we go. Granny, come give Grandma a kiss. Granny Boo misses you. <laughs> you need to call Granny Boo more often. And Grandma misses you. <laughs> oh, God, the Eeries. The Eeries in this pattern. The goal is to not get into a situation where you have no choice but to get hit by an eerie. Alright, there we go. This was actually a really good layout for a big boo fight, uh, with the floor uh, being very detrimental, and the eeries, of course, in the pattern as well. So, course clear. Alright, ominous music, Grandma's house takes us over to... Oh, jeez, Big Bertha, we're gonna be dealing with the Mario-eating fish today. Uh-oh. Yep, we better watch out now. That Mario eating fish. Oh, does Mario eating fish not reach me at this level? Oh! Mario eating fish is not eating me right now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't jump in the water and whatever hitbox I got, I'll, I'll take it, because I'm, I'm used to Big Bertha having a ridiculously stupid hitbox when she's brought into Super Mario World. To where, like, yeah, essentially... Even if what I'm looking at now, now what, what you'd be dead. Yes. Dead, dead like that. I'm about to say having to swim in some water just spelled my immediate demise there, but I I'm used to like a really obnoxious hitbox, Big Bertha. Uh, this is uh, not obnoxious, it's still annoying though, because this is a very fast swimming fish and I have some water I need to swim through. Ugh, that's ugly. What's going uh, on? Yoshizilla, how are we doing tonight? pretty good. Um, my hair is currently very damp. Because, oh boy. You know, Shower? <laughs> Shower, <Yeah>. probably? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. Well, well, How's Yoshi's Revenge going? I need to be in the call for this, because obviously... <laughs> I'm about to say, we literally just started. Evil Pop-Tart and I just got done with Doom. Uh, the only level you missed is Grandma's house, where Grandma Boo wanted a hug. Nice. I didn't even know you were, um... You were streaming, and like I didn't get the notification because I was like, uh, like, uh, like, how's that work? So I like didn't get the notification on my phone in time, and then I just come back home and then like, oh hey, you're you're streaming. 
All right. Hey, good evening, Yoshi. Oh, geez, you're reminding me that I need to be paying attention, more attention to baseball, because last I checked, the Brewers were actually doing pretty okay, so... Uh, and I even went to a game earlier this year, so... I'm about to piss off a lot of people. I personally do not care for watching sports. I, I mean, I like watching sports, but I like I just don't really care. I don't have a preference on like what team should win or whatever. You don't have preference for a local team of sport? Not really. Okay. I don't, I don't watch a lot of sports, I'm sorry. I, I stay inside and play video games all day. It would be ex <laughs> it would be extremely sacrilege for me to say that, because I live in Wisconsin, which apparently means I have to be a Green Bay Packers fan or else people hate me. So, yeah. I won't hate you, because I live in California, so I won't hate you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be worried about people out of state. I'd be worried about the other Wisconsin things. That's all. Up <laughs> Uprising. <laughs> Everyone oh, just yeah. knocks on your door. No, someone will like uh, SWAT you. Like they'll like hack your number and then SWAT you. Uh, I hope not. Uh, but yeah, uh, Wayoshi also reminds us that BronyCon is happening this weekend. Oh man, that that's BronyCon. Yes, that, that's a convention oh, I've actually been to a couple times in the past. Uh, fun time, fun friends. So, uh, but not going this year. I remember seeing some tweets that it was coming up and thinking to myself, man. Like, how much would it cost and how long would it take just to take a train ride there? Because a train ride would be less expensive than, you know, a plane ticket. And it's a little over $100. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> nice. So if I really, oh, yes. really wanted to go out to Baltimore, I'd be like, all right, I guess I'm, uh, well, it's round trip, so I'd be uh, $200 down. But I'd be there. So. Okay, well, I guess, like, if we're on the topic of cons, I know that uh, Comic-Con is happening, like, here where I live. Like, um, I think it's in Sacramento. Um, like, near where I live. Um, so that's pretty cool. Get to meet, like, I mean, I know it's probably not the same, it's obviously not the same as BronyCon, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Comic-Cons are pretty cool. <laughs> gotten to meet a couple celebrities, if any of you are familiar with, uh, Winter Soldier, uh, I got to meet him. Snow Golem Kirby is challenging me, no more three of states for four dollars. That seems like a little bit, mm -hmm. but now I'm wondering how far will I make it without using a safe state. Make it, state. make it, make it ten dollars. <laughs> make it ten dollars. You know, I'm just thinking, let me just try this one level and see how much of a pain in the ass it is. Oh god, we're gonna be dealing with phantoms. This might be a massive pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah! Oh, actually. Oh man. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey, good evening, Pajan. How are we doing tonight? Oh, jeez. I, I want to do that to remind you of your, yeah, series. Thanks. Well, <laughs> I just realized that that platform was not jump throughable. It was just straight solid ceiling. Straight oh, solid oh ceiling. So as a result, instead of going through it, I just bonked my head and went into the abyss and died. Like, how was Oops. I supposed to know? Well, apparently for near $9,000, you can actually buy... A actual model of the of the original Enterprise. Okay. I want to become cons. Well then, I'm about <laughs> to say I don't have that kind of money just lying around. So, <laughs> oh Miles, I'm still dealing with a stupid medical procedure bill. So anyway, what's up with Yoshi Zo? Okay. Um. Actually, here's a, here's a story, like, because, like, we were on the topic of cons, and I've got, uh, I actually do have a topic. So, in 2013, uh, Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario, at, um, I think it was, like, an anime con or something, um, like, um, near where I live, and I think I, I remember, I, w I didn't know, like, it, about anime back, like, back then, because that was, like, what, five years ago? Um, so... Yeah, he was there, and I think I even remember I, like, wanted to go, because that would have been awesome to meet, like, Charles Martinet, but then, sadly, I didn't end up going, and it's, like, Aww. rip. <laughs> I'm about to say, if so, I was at a situation where I could meet him and get a signature, that would be awesome. Also, these giant phantoms are a giant pain in the butt. They yeah, take I up a lot of I screen asked estate. My dad if, yeah, I remember I, like, I asked my dad if we could go, and he was like, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> and we just complete, we both completely forgot. Yeah, it was a sad day. Maybe he'll maybe he'll come back. <laughs> maybe. I'm about to say, if you're in a populated area, it's a lot more likely uh, to happen. So, uh, but yeah, giant. I oh, mean, jeez, that hitbox! I mean, if Sacramento is c considered popular area, then I guess yay. It can be. I mean, yeah. 
It's funny because whenever, because that's not actually where I live. I just like live, live near that area. Whenever I say like exactly where I live, people are like, what? what where is that? I'm like, Sacramento. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, big that, cities. Big cities. Yeah. I I'm thankful that I could tell people, yeah, I live in Milwaukee, and some people will actually know where that is because it's a decently big city. It's the biggest city Star in the state I, of Wisconsin. I am not so. good on my geography, so I have no idea where that is. Chicago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Does that help? That's option yeah. two if they don't know where Milwaukee is. So, oh, man, these these fan girls and their big, giant, glaring hitboxes that extend beyond their sprite. They're like big square blocks, and I gotta watch out for those oh, and corners. You're and you're not using safe states. You want the four dollars, don't you? I wanted to give it an honest attempt at least. So, <laughs> okay, wait, here's Just... an idea: end the stream real fast, and then come back, and then there you go. You didn't. You saved <laughs> and be like, I beat the level, everybody. <laughs> Look at what I did, man. These giant. <laughs> no, there, there's, no. there's YouTubers at Lego. Okay, I'll pay you ten dollars for every kill you get on Fortnite, and they will literally go in and attempt it. And they like get probably like what ten. Some of them get ten dollars. Some of them get a hundred dollars. <laughs> Rip that block. Oh well. Well, thankfully, it respond. Oh god, the giant phantoms are still chasing me down. Ha ha. All right, where, where are you guys? There you are. Is this, ah, is this the hitbox. How is this Yoshi's revenge? <laughs> There's no. If anything, it should be. Um, I don't know. Yoshi's attacking you right there. Mar Mario quits four. That that hitbox is horrible. This wait, is there? Uh, there the last one was three, right? I'm sorry, no, I can't Mario, understand. Mario gives up four, is what this should be. That does every rom heck now becomes a Mario gives up? You're saying? <laughs> yep. The continuing adventures and series of Mario gives up season seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> It just keeps going on and on like the Pokemon anime. Uh, they oh need to God. end that. Wait, wait, is Pokemon still actually going on? Yes. yes. Really? Yes, I saw they made a movie. I saw a bunch of people got pissed off about the movie. Oh. It was like Pikachu spoke or something. All right, not taking that four dollars. That's too obnoxious at the moment. Oh God! And now the Phantoms are in the way. No. No. Oh my gosh. I, I call shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Like, how am I even supposed to get in here? Like, this is just call, straight wall on the sides. I call shenanigans. Wait, Absolutely. Miles. Just place the block down and jump up. But there's walls in the way. And also, this is a tough jump to make. I gotta sandwich myself into here first, apparently. Oh, Alright, we did it. it. Oh wait, I see. You can't enter the door anyway. Like I, oh I see. Yeah, it wasn't completely evident, but that door was surrounded by a straight solid wall, so I couldn't just place the block and then jump to it. All right, well, that takes us to finding new oh, ways. Oh, I meant, I meant, I meant more place the block under it and then jump through like up there, but then I realized you can't get through the door. Mario, we have to find a way so that you and I can make it to the end, so we are actually riding a friendly Yoshi this time, and he is explicitly telling us, yeah, we need to make it to the end together. Kiwi? Is that his name? Yeah, this Yoshi's named Kiwi. Now, are you used to your Yoshis all being named Yoshi? Oh, jeez, both I mean, of us no, died. I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I, could... I mean, I guess I, if I'm a Yoshi, I have a name. Oh, wow, he gave, he gave you 20 bits. I still got 20 bits, okay. <laughs> it's no golem. Oh man! All right, we gotta Dang, figure out a way, a way to get Kiwi through the rest of this level. And I'm wondering, am I missing something here? Because I kind of have to leave Kiwi behind at the start here. And also, uh, that's a Koopa shell hidden underneath just some straight blue blocks. As if I shouldn't have gotten the blue switch palace. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. <laughs> Nice, nice, uh, Virgie no, Chuck. Yoshi's like, okay, I'm gonna do that in my taxi and put blue blocks here so Mario goes, like, yeah, no, screw you. Also, Miles, a way to be, like, 
I guess, cool and not sacrifice your Yoshi into an endless pit? Well, Kiwi says that Kiwi doesn't want to die, so I don't want to kill Kiwi if I can help it. See, the Kiwi thing is, Yoshi's, <laughs> Yoshi's just need to let me know that they don't want to die, and I won't kill them. <laughs> oh, so uh, so if they say they do, uh, like, if they don't say they don't want to die specifically, then that sure. means, oh, they must want to die. <laughs> uh, obviously, you know. Alright, I don't even... want to die. Can I even make a back? At this point, I'm unfortunately gonna have to leave Kiwi behind here. Uh, hey, well, at least he's well, not dead. Yeah, at least he's not dead, that's true. Let's see what kind of trouble we get into without Kiwi then, because, yeah, bringing the Kiwi through here. Oh god, an invisible claim block. Oh god, the hemp. <laughs> the football! This isn't Kaizo Mario. Uh, it almost became Kaizo Mario, because I was almost trapped in a small little tunnel with the football guy, so. Oh, charging oh gosh. Shot. And then I just jumped immediately onto some munchers. <laughs> well, the level title says that maybe I should find a new way. If I had a mushroom, I could break this block and see what's in it, but I do not. I got a gut feeling this is one of those levels that makes you go through it twice. The first time without Why Yoshi, the second time just, with. Oh. For a second I thought you weren't using the safe space. I was like, what the heck? Alright. Wait. Chuckum, didn't you mention me one night that you want, like, boss to redo the castle Mario? Or something like that? I w I've, I've wanted him, him to do the castle Mario 64, just the f first, f first four courses. <laughs> yeah. oh, I told him, I told him to do that, but holy crap, I've seen YouTube videos of that thing. That crap is... <laughs> There's people who speedrun it! <laughs> I mean, people speedrun Kaizo Mario, but it's just like, there's people who freaking speedrun that crap, it's like, how? How do you not want to, like, it's already hard enough to do, like, a normal Mario 64 speedrunning, just imagine doing Kaizo Mario 64 speedrunning. Guarantee yeah. you, you won't want to live anymore. I thought the game would be giving me some kind of resource here, but so far it appears the game's got giving me Bubkiss at the moment. Yeah, let me load state. Hey, it's Kiwi. Again. How much you want to that you're gonna need you're gonna need that flower. That's what it's looking like here. Let's try to take this fire flower back here. The problem is with all the little Koopa Troopa jumping back up here. Uh, not happening. I do not get the height that I need, so maybe I need to wrap the level around one more time here. And also that shell being in that block. What a troll. Ugh. Fire flower. Let's try to keep it. What if, what if you died and entered the level with the with the power up? That may end up needing to happen. <laughs> we'll see if it comes to that. Oh god, the munchers again. Ah, just making the blind jump. I want to make the blind jump, but the blind jump is not happening. Oh, I can break a block through the pipe. Okay, block through the pipe. Uh, one sec, please. I gotta kill this charging chuck first, or let him multiply first. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. I think we're finally getting- also, I never hit the switch. Maybe that would help. There we go, there we go. That's probably the missing link right there. Hit the switch, Miles Luigi. Miles is right there in front of you, hit the switch. Uh, hit the jump button. Ah, Kiwi, I just fell in the hole and died. And then your message note block came. It'd be like the only way you move is to not close your message note block. Also, another fire flower, I'll take that. Kiwi! <laughs> You're just like, Kiwi, save you! <laughs> the only winning move is to keep your message block message block up this entire time. Although, I'm not seeing... Oh, I, I know how. Alright, Kiwi, you need to hang around there. I, I see that that block is up, and that means this block is down. That's not a blue switch block, that is a switch block. And that means we can hit this over here. Alright, Kiwi, don't eat the shell, please. Ah, don't! Alright, we need to jump. One sec, as I puts around with my buttons. Look, space time rewind. Okay. Whew. All right, keep it simple. Oh. Simple, stupid, simple, stupid. There, there's too many bottomless pits here. Yes, I yes, think. there is. Well, if there is a bottom. <laughs> oh, gee, are you serious? That's not a vine. I was expecting this to be a vine. I just killed Kiwi. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> That's Kiwi okay. didn't want to die. You I, got, I got another idea. I just realized that this is the blue shell, which means this can make Kiwi fly. Provided I can get it, this is not a friendly area at all. Let me, let me do this. Oh my all gosh. Right. All right, that works. All right, all right, let's GTFO now. Oh my gosh, Miles, please make the jump. <laughs> There's so many ways to F up that jump, golly. Oh, here we go. Kiwi and I'm presuming the evil Yoshi meet each other. Kiwi shoots a fireball and uh, evil Yoshi Shoot rides away in the clouds. Well, is he Goku now? Hey, and I guess that's the, I that's the end of the level. Oh, okay, and a level. Shit. Well, not end of level, apparently, because apparently there's more to this here. Also, can you not eat lotus plants? Oh, it's funny you did. Alright, ropes, arrow. Ropes, arrow. Ropes, 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 ropes. Oh, the arrows are telling me to go back. It's like there's nothing else for you here. Go this way. Oh, but I can't get Kiwi up here without dropping Kiwi. I don't want to leave Kiwi behind. Kiwi shot, a <laughs> Ki Kiwi shot a fireball at the bad Yoshi. All right, at least I don't have to kill him. Oh, hey, a P-switch. P-switch? A P-switch? And more arrows have appeared. Aha! There we go. Probably right. knowing me, I would probably put a evil Pop-Tart me and killed him. That most plant was just barely in my reach. No, don't run away, Kiwi. All right, we can do this. We just have to jump over the pit of lava that's just sitting in the middle of grassy fields, and, and we'll be on our way. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, you know. Maybe we're out, like, you know, in the middle of Hawaii, where, you know, it's just grassy fields and tropical lands, and then just lava. Oh, look, it's just lava. Don't jump into it. Ah, no, 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 no. I, I went to go I die just... with Kiwi. Good thing. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're just walking a field and you just see a pit of lava. <laughs> Miles. I just literally just saw that. Uh, that <laughs> just lotus went plant. straight off. <laughs> that lotus plant is in an absolutely evil position. I will just gladly try to get past them as soon as humanly possible there. There we go. Oh, alright. I guess right at, uh, well. Let's try that again, now that we know that that's bottomless pit. And that's multiple bottomless pits, okay. Golly, what's the best way to get across a pit like this? Before Confused Chuck realizes what the correct sport is that he should be playing. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Wait, All right. what? <laughs> you don't know that the Chuck that throws baseballs, his canonical name is Confused Chuck? Huh? Alright, Kiwi. Oh. We'll find a way to get you past this, but another time. What is he playing? Football or baseball? Baseball. <laughs> there we go. I'm about to say, if I jumped off that, matter of fact, let me space time rewind. Is there a way to, for me to bring Kiwi along? I'm about to say, I'm gonna have to jump off of that pillar there, and then probably off one of the flying Koopa troopers, except they fly from the left to the right. Can they fly the other direction? Oh god, baseballs. <laughs> I can't jump off of baseballs, that's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Where was my load state? My load state was here. Actually, this is momentum. Uh, come on. Eh. Ah. Uh. Maybe if I time this just right. Maybe this might be doable. This might be doable. I have to get off that Koopa Troopa here. This Frame is perfect a, jumps. This is a tricky jump. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Miles Frame Luigi perfect. training to speedrun. Come on. Oh, that's not quite enough momentum. No. <laughs> Literally frame perfect jumps. Early we now we are keeping count. No. <laughs> but this will be perfect time to count if, how many times you check my, my size. <laughs> oh god, I went through the floor. Oh my oh, god, you were so close. I was, I held right and then I lost my momentum and I'm like, ah, I held right too early. This is not too often an explored mechanic, but you actually have more momentum coming out of a did pipe you than you do holding right. Did you just right there? Did yes, you just yes I did. 
Yeah. You are clearly learning the speed run. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier we were, we were talk talking about um, about content and autographs and whatnot. I had an uh, had an opportunity to get an yes! autograph from John. <laughs> <laughs> when you see it, everybody. <laughs> Can we get You're coming with me, old? Kiwi. We're coming with me, Kiwi. Yes. <laughs> can, we, can we can we get a big old yeah from Super Mario? Yeah, for that. <laughs> Miles, I've never heard you more happy in in my life. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's alright. I think I this mean, level doesn't let I me mean, bring Kiwi happy. into him. Uh, anyway, oh. continue. I mean, you're a pretty happy guy, but uh, that was like the happiest I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the level very clearly wanted me to leave Kiwi behind. I'm like, no, I don't want to leave Kiwi behind. And I'm like, wait, this might be possible. You get a lot of momentum. Also, okay. This is a strange looking Yoshi. Yikes. But it was like, I got Kiwi through the level. And then the next hey, level. Yoshi. Yes, and then the next level has a no Mario what? sign, which actually functions like a no Yoshi sign. Is that so. the flat Yoshi from Odyssey? Wait, no, not Odyssey. Um, you're, you're thinking of Mario 64 Ocarina of Time. Yes, yes. Well, there may be more than one flat Yoshi, but otherwise, let's just say yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, we'll just say that evil Yoshi was felt bad, so it's like, you know what? I'll give you, you a job. Just duplicates him. He goes like, yeah, you're dead now. Well, apparently I've pissed off more than one Yoshi here. I, I know they're all just stationary objects, but still, golly. Well, imagine what I could do if you pissed me off. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be, you'll beat Paper Mario hours before I would. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the House of Your Door, and Superstar Saga, and Punch oh, Time. Oh, jeez. Okay. Don't even met your partners in time. That that gave Molly a headache. Wait, don't oh, speed. Run? I already do speed run it. Or or evil pop that is. I I think he's talking about the fact that the story in Partners in Time makes no sense. <laughs> okay, well if you if you kind of look at more Luigi Partners in Time from a Back to the Future standpoint, the whole universe should just blow up. True. Very true. It would just blow up. No, if you looked at, at uh, either either Doctor Who standpoint or Flash standpoint, it would go up. Oh yeah, I mean literally, if Princess Shrew spoilers by the way for no one who's played Partners in Time, if you haven't, then what are you doing with your life? Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're watching a Mario that. stream and you haven't played Partners in Time? Get wrecked. Um, I haven't played Partners in Time. I just watched Miles Luigi play it. Okay, that that's an exception. At least if you you should know the storyline partners, and everyone should. Uh, unless I, you were unless you were born this year, then if you were, then okay, I'll make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Only newborns can be excluded from the rules. <laughs> no, yeah, if you're if you're one if you're at least one year old, then nah. That yeah. that just reminds me that the Mario teaches typing two box says like ages five oh to ninety five. Oh my gosh! Yes, it does because Wait, ages five to ninety five. Yes, yes, it does. Like, I, I I had that game and that box as a kid, and that's how I know that it says ages five to ninety five. Okay, if you if you if you need to, get, I mean, like I don't even know if if that's a game that like. As the age is 5 to 95, that's basically life. <laughs> anyway, it's for everyone! Partners in time, what's going on with Partners in time? Like, just, uh. Yeah, the whole universe blows up, you know, because Princess Shroop, if Princess Shroop, you know, turns Peach's Castle into Shroop Castle, then the current Pe Peach's Castle should become Shroop Castle as well. And if Mario and Luigi interacted with themselves, then they should just. Yeah, the whole universe will blow up. And in this case, he's just saying that a huge paradox would happen. Oh, yeah. Because to start off with, if you actually ever run into yourself, you now this is Doctor Who's standpoint, if you ever ran into yourself from, from the past or the future, a paradox would happen and literally time itself would start collapsing. Oh, yeah. Good well, thing we that... Good thing that time travel isn't a thing yet. 
Unless Good it thing. Is. Well, I'm about to say, uh, uh, Stephen Hawking kind of threw a party that was all about, hey, like, I'm gonna throw a party for time for travelers. Anyone's welcome, and no one came. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, Stephen yeah. Hawking. Oh, yeah, so. I think I remember, like, something was so, uh, screwed up. When he, like, passed away, there were, like, m people immediately made a meme about it with, like, windows shutting down. I was just like, really? <laughs> no. I really? Think, I think when I found out about it, it was due to a uh, um, extra Big Bang Theory. So after the wedding episode, they did like a small thing that never actually got onto the actual show for the episode. It literally said it was literally something from Stephen Hawking. I was like, that's actually real cool. Oh, hey, a cape? The game's gonna give me a cape? Okay. <laughs> Alright. No capes. Your time no has capes. come, Mario! Time to finish you off! Yoshi <laughs> has gone to shoot fireballs at us. I'm glad someone got that reference. My junior... No, I'm sorry, my sophomore year of high school for our March Man show, we, we did The Incredibles, and it's kind of a running gag with the with the color guard. They were, they were debating if they should have a cape or not. So somebody just made a sign that said no capes. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Oh yeah, I hope. I, um, are any of you aware that um, like the voice of Edna is the director? Wait, really? Yeah. For the first movie or the second movie? Probably uh, both. Probably both. Well, I mean, uh, what is? What was Yoshi doing there? He like kept bowing down. He's like. Eh. Uh, he was twerking. Is it well, just me or is the screen getting darker? That was. It was getting darker, and also I wrecked myself by having that Koopa shell running back and forth. So, yeah. let's try not to do that this time. Even though he's like evil right now, he still looks so happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, do, he, he's happy because he's dodging his taxes while defeating Mario. Well, we finished him off. Alright! And happy music to stop playing. Hooray! And Princess How Peach is here. How much you that? There's gonna be another boss. <laughs> is the credits going to be nothing but Luigi? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was still funny. And then oh. I posted that emote. Wait, the, wait. I think I have that emote like um, as a sub emote, so I can actually use it. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Yoshi. In all our adventures, I took you for granted. Next time, you can hop on my back. Oh, cut the waterworks, Mario. You know I can't stay mad at you. Now come on and let's see the credits. Onward to the credits. In which we are actually playing the game during the credits. So, I guess we did Wait, leave so off pretty much just near the end. Wait, so, what, so why is Yoshi, like, what happened to Yoshi? Now he's, like, all cool? <laughs> uh, I would say the most likely explanation is that he got possessed, honestly. And, uh, pointing him to near Makes death sense. broke him out of the possession. Either that, or he was just really angry and just wa wanted to vent some frustration, and then nearly died. I was like, "Oh, uh, <laughs> Mar Mario is too powerful, please." Stop. Mario is too powerful. <laughs> he, he will always be, you know, Mario's master, Yoshi. <laughs> it's like Yoshi. I, I won't. I won't fling you in the bottomless pits anymore. I promise. I won't use you as a second jump. Into the next ROM hack, level two, Yoshi goes into the pit. God damn it! <laughs> Falling down yet another pit. Most ROM hacks don't let you play during the credits, so this is a nice pace and something different, and actually gives me something to do, so I appreciate that. Uh, as for what I think, well, this is a nice little nifty short ROM hack, some fantastic level design level um, what wise are you speaking. Next? That is a great question. I would have to double check my list. I want to say I have three other Mario World ROM hacks that are currently on the list, so um, we'll probably just pick one out of that. If you want to hang Nothing around, guys, we, we could take a look at that list. Maybe we could just do an instantaneous straw poll tonight. Uh, I'd actually probably do a 24-hour star straw poll, but you guys would get to have first choice as to what to play next. Mm. Let me go ahead and do that. Do we'll straw poll it. Do you know what's something you have to do on your stream someday, Miles? Mario Party. Boy. Ah, thanks for the reminder. And also, thank you for the bits. Can you die in the credits? Wow, that is something to ask Snow Golem Kirby. I'm trying to think of how you would even uh, die. 
um, because, like, you would have to crush yourself somehow, uh, or get yourself clipped on some kind of block. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think you can the same thing, didn't you walk off the screen? Get I mean, I hit, it. I hit the edge of the screen, which this level is currently set to exit me when I hit the edge of the screen, so I might be able to kill myself. Aha! The screen's scrolling! Well, I could just kill myself on the screen scroll. <laughs> there! Yes, you can kill yourself on the credits. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> no, 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 it's just death, but Mars Oh my gosh, you did it. <laughs> you can kill yourself on the credits by virtue of <laughs> death by credit screen. Um, or the automated oh, screen scrolling. Screen scrolling that wall that's pursuing us from the left. I'm about to say, I used to make that like a little old meme of mine calling it the ensuing wall of death. And if you could just imagine a big wall of spikes to the left of there, constantly pursuing us, always pursuing us. Usually to the theme of the Super Metroid uh, Mother Brain Boss theme. That, that was the meme that I tried to do back in the day. I'm like, if you I give me a second, I can... I'm about to say, if you give me a second, I could start playing that theme instead of uh, uh, this theme, which is Yoshi's Island's uh, credits theme in the Mario World uh, sound font, which is actually pretty good, hey. I gotta say. Great. It'd be like, dur, 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 dur. <laughs> so, the only <laughs> Anyways, thing is, if I, I think I'm actually going to. Oh, go ahead. Oh, if you're going to be heading out, that then I was a good time because I'll be ending the stream soon, but I do have to get that <laughs> straw poll shortly. And yeah, me clicking out of the game actually pauses the game. So it's like, ah, gosh darn it. All this Shit. time just to play the stupid joke. Where, where's that theme? Here it is. There it is. <laughs> Winamp, open. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it was cool. Well, gosh, I only missed one level. Yeah, I got to see see pretty much the whole thing. So it was cool hanging out. I'll like uh, catch you guys later. When's your next stream gonna be, Miles? Uh, possibly. Also, I should probably turn down that music because it's pretty loud. Uh, it'll either be next Saturday or next Tuesday. Uh, because I next did miss Saturday, like actual next Saturday or this upcoming Saturday. Upcoming Saturday. Sorry. <laughs> uh, since I did miss Tuesday's stream because of work things, I usually do try to do a makeup stream. I just haven't decided because I do have things coming up this Saturday, so, uh, yeah. depending on that. Oh. oh, yeah, I guess in other news, uh, I forgot to mention this. I, uh, I got a personal best in Super Mario 64 70 star by, like, two minutes. <laughs> oh, dang. I was about to say, where does that put your record? Uh, well, I mean, uh, that... My current time is now like 55. Uh, 55 Damn, that's 29. good. That is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the run had like a very bad tall, tall mountain and a bad TikTok clock uh, in very dumb ways. I can definitely <laughs> get like a 54. It's not okay. It's not really my main speed game, but like, you know, it's something that I do for fun. But yeah. It just took, like, you know how, if you've seen SM64 speedruns, you know how Womps is the big resetter. I think I reset at Womps, like, six times. Or no, not six, maybe, like, four or five. And then the first run out of Womps, it PB'd. Okay. I'm remembering <laughs> that there's a Star World in this ROM hack, and we do probably owe the ROM hack to do Star World. Um, so, especially <laughs> since we do have all the Star World levels unlocked, and we, we now have access to Yoshi's, so this is not so much Yoshi's Revenge anymore than just, welcome back to Super Mario World ROM hacking. So well, let's, let's yeah. get ourselves up on that first level, and then we'll hit save state, <laughs> and then we'll straw poll what the next uh, Mario World ROM hack will be, and uh, then I think we'll call it a night, everybody. Now would be a good time yeah. if you have any raid targets to uh, pitch them. And this goes for you as well, uh, Twitch Chat. If you have like any raid targets potentially, let me know. Uh, uh, Super Sonic 71. <laughs> Super Sonic 71087. He's streaming Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay. I say we raid this guy named Miles Luigi. <laughs> Self raid. <laughs> but I'm not going to be streaming anymore. What would be the point of raiding myself? <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'm gonna call the night now. It, enjoyed the stream, enjoyed hanging out, so All right. talk to you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Yoshizil. Alright, so See yeah, you. the Jurassic Uprise will be our next level. Let's make another backup save state over there. Well, there we go. I, I just remembered something. So, as of yesterday, Rockstar ended up updating GTA with the nightclub update. 
And I swear, the profile picture for the person that calls you about it basically kind of looks like a Tony Stark if, if Tony Stark was in GTA. Like, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get a picture of it and put it on the, in the Discord and see what you guys decide. Because to me, it looks like if, if it's Tony Stark in GTA. 